hello friends welcome back to the new tutorial of the python flask today we are going to learn about otp verification with twilio python and the flask so basically i'm going to use the twilio where we are going to send the otp to the respective mobile number then we are going to verify that otp okay so those who haven't subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video please do like share and comment on my video let's get started so here this is a uh, Twilio part we have already installed so the command is pip install Twilio okay this is done okay after this we have to run the python 3 I think otp.py is there otp.py so here we go with the debug mode it's updated let's copy the link and trying to send the otp okay so let's go to the postman and let's try to verify everything so here we go with this one so first we will send the otp right so here we, here we have the code so first we require the Twilio account SID or token and the Twilio phone number on, on the behalf of which the phone number should get. Okay. Then initialize the Twilio client account. So make, make sure that the Twilio rest we have to import from that, that one. Okay. And the import random. This is the by default package which will create the random OTP generation. Right. So let me word wrap this so that you will be looking the code should be on the same page now in the memory storage otp is replace the persistent storage in the production so i take a default otp storage okay then generate the otp we return the random string okay then return that one okay after generating the otp we are going to send the otp send otp via sms so this is the method that i'm going to send the otp and returning the message sid right then this is the method that how to send the otp which re which required the phone number right so this is the route that i'm going to use it and this is the post request and body we require the phone number right so let's update the phone number over here phone underscore number so here we go with this one so i think the number should be plus nine one nine eight Five, triple nine one nine three. Make sure it should be sending the number. It says that the exception, the request uh, preview. What they saying? To the exception that the request was not something. The number is might be wrong. I think let me change the number. I think the number should be another. I have the number. okay because we have a sandbox account right so this number is registered in that account so otp sent let me try to verify the otp again not again just currently i received the otp let's try to verify there is a function that is called verify otp so this is send otp get the phone number and uh, generate otp function will call it will give you the random number then send the otp okay and then storage with the phone number that otp and we will send the message that the otp sent successfully okay now verify the otp okay so uh, you can do with like you can send the otp to the registration or you can save that otp into the database so that you can verify that otp is matching or not that case also you can handle now we have an endpoint for verify the otp so we will get the phone number and the otp at the same time so let's go and check this one so let me go with the new route so here we go with this one and uh, i need the route so let's go to the terminal so i think it's on the top of it the url so let me copy the link and let's add it over here and verify otp what it expects the post request body raw json and phone number and the otp so here we go with this one so shift this one phone underscore number what exactly it is so let's try to check it is plus nine one six nine six three two five two and the otp which i get into it 
So if I try to run the random OTP, then what will happen? Two, three, four, five, something that's which you don't know. Okay, what will happen? OTP verification failed. Let's add the correct one. Okay, so the respective OTP is nine one five eight six four. Okay, let's see. OTP verification is successful. Okay, that means the number we have verified successfully. Now you can do the login, login part, showing the dashboard, anything else. Okay, so how we have verified the OTP? So here you can see that we have the stored OTP to get the phone number. And if the stored OTP and the OTP matches, then we will send that the OTP verification successful. Else we will show him there that the OTP verification fail. So this is how you can do the phenomena, right? So any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day and don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.